Physics isn't just about solving problems with equations. Sometimes you have to solve problems visually. This question will highlight the power of the tip to tail method in combining forces. This one simple trick will solve the problem for you without you having to guess. There are two key words in this question that can be easily overlooked, but good students can recognize this and apply it straight away. Those words are uniform and held. These words may seem insignificant, but they tell you two very important steps to add to this drawing. And that is the weight of the trapdoor acts at the center. And the second thing is that the trapdoor is in equilibrium. So how do we apply this tip to tail method? In the question, we're interested in the forces that are acting on the trapdoor only. So let's just add in one more force that isn't drawn on the trapdoor, which is the tension in the rope. In the tip to tail method, we're only interested in the forces acting on the trapdoor. So let's take out this force and this force and draw them separately. So let's just draw these forces tip to tail. So the idea of the tip to tail method is we take one of the forces and we draw them. And then we immediately draw the next force from the tip of this force and connect it to the tail of the other force. So this is our weight force and the tail of the other force is from the rope and that's the tension force. Now going back to that keyword held, we said that that means the trapdoor is in equilibrium. In the tip to tail method, the application therefore is that when forces are drawn tip to tail, they should complete the shape. So the final force, what the question is asking for is which is the reaction force, A, B, C, or D. So all we need to do is complete the shape. This triangle. And as you can see, all the arrows are now tip to tail and we've found our missing force. And if you look at the direction of this arrow, which one does it most closely match with? So the answer turns out to be B. Now you're probably wondering, does this still work if I started off with a different force? How do I know whether to start with weight or with tension? So what we'll do is I'll show you how you get the exact same answer, regardless of which force you start with, whether it's the weight or the tension in the rope. So this time, let's start with tension. Then tip to tail, we draw the weight and finally close the shape. And we still get the same direction arrow, which is the same as the answer B. This is a great example of a question where memorization and recall doesn't help you. It's the application of a method that gets you the answer.